welcome back to my channel. So in today's episode, I was actually wanting to show you a fun activity you can do with your students or your children, grandchildren, any kind of child you want to do it with. It's really cute and I'm really excited. This is actually the first year I've done this with my students and they turned out so cute. They're actually little handprint plates. They are adorable and I absolutely love them. So we are making these to gift to their parents and I'm actually going to go ahead and wrap them for my students. That way they can take them home and hopefully not break them on the way home. But the parents might have a present to unwrap the day of Christmas. Who knows? Most of them will probably let them do it when they get home that day. So the way we did this is we bought plates from the dollar store, Dollar Tree, and all you need is the acrylic paint like this, the little 50 cent kind from Walmart, Marshalls, Hobby Lobby, wherever you buy crafts. And the first thing I did was let my student do the handprint. I took a paintbrush, I painted their whole hand, and I placed their hand and pressed down on it. I made sure to press all their fingers because we had the issue where some of my students weren't pressing their fingers about like right here all the way down on the plate. So I would actually put pressure on their hand to make sure their fingers and everything showed up really well. So once we did that, I had to let them dry and which actually did not take as long as I thought. I thought it was going to take like a whole day to dry. No, it took a few, like maybe 20 or 30 minutes. And then I did not realize until I made these that you can actually use Sharpies on the glass plates like this. So for the design, the Merry Christmas and the lights, I use Sharpie, but as you can see on the lights, there's actually little dots on it. My students actually used a Q-tip and I let them, I had all these bowls laid out with different color paints and I let each one, one at a time, come to my horseshoe table. That way I could sanitize in between each student coming to the table. And they used Q-tips and would dab in each paint and do all the lights on their reindeer antlers. And then once they did that, that was all they got to do was the lights and the handprint. I went and added the eyeballs, the nose, and I'm actually going to go back and do glitter on the nose. I think that'll be really cute. All I'm going to do for that is use a Q-tip, do the red on the nose one more time, and do it with glitter while it's still wet. But anyway... So once they did the lights, I went back with a green and red Sharpie and just did Merry Christmas with their name. And then I did the year right there. I thought these were super cute and I'm going to spray them with a sealer. That way they don't mess up as easy. But I thought this was a really cute, a really inexpensive craft to do with your child, student, anyone that you might want to do this with, even a dog. That'd be really cute too. I might even do this for Barrett when I get home. I'm not going to lie. I think it's adorable. So I let my students choose between the reindeer Christmas tree and I actually have one student that celebrates Hanukkah. So we did a Hanukkah one as well, which was this one and it turned out really cute as well. I let his hands be the, the candle that they use, but I thought the Hanukkah one turned out really cute. And then this was the Christmas tree. I think on the Christmas trees, I'm going to go back and do some ornaments, like dab a little red ornaments on a few of them and do the glitter on that. Because when I told my students that I was going to do the noses red glitter, my, I only had two do Christmas tree and one ended up not being here. So the one that did do the Christmas tree, she was like, what about mine? I want glitter too. So I told her that I would dab a few ornaments on her tree and then just do some ornaments with the glitter as well. going to do is line them all up do all the red dots do the glitter on every one of them and then once I do that I can actually just wipe away the excess glitter and I feel like that'll be easier and probably run a little faster because my kids are in activity so I have to go get them in like 10 minutes
the one I'm about to do is my student who had to leave early, so I'm actually going to just video me writing how I did Merry Christmas in case you wanted to see that, but anyway. I gotta let it dry first. That is it for today's video, guys. If you liked my video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It would really help out my channel. If you like videos like this, be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. My channel is usually vlogs and day in the life. I'm gonna probably start doing little craft ideas like this just because I really enjoy doing these types of things. So I will have this type of stuff as well, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.